Now we're talking a lot of the industries that were hit hard, but one of them, of course, is the Broadway community, right? One iconic show vowing to hire many unemployed Broadway actors to help them. Joining us now is the man behind that amazing decision, Law & Order SVU showrunner Warren Light. Welcome back to the Pixar Morning News, Mr. Light. How you doing? Nice to be here. Thanks. Hey, I think what you're doing is absolutely incredible. I saw your tweet, and I've read some of your interviews about this, saying we're trying to hire every Broadway actor while we wait for the curtains to rise again. What gave you the idea here? Well, first of all, we've always had Broadway actors. Yeah. This is a New York-based show, and we know where the good actors are. Uh, but but after after the six months we were out, my first goal was to get our crews back to work safely. And then how do we help out this New York community that has been devastated by the pandemic? And, uh, you know, it, it, in normal times, we, have, we will fly actors in from L.A., right. put them up. I thought, we don't want to be flying people in. We don't want to be quarantining actors. This is our chance. And the Broadway actors, often when we hire them, we have to get them back to curtain. We have an eight o'clock curtain. We yeah. have to let them out of our shoot at seven. It's a little inconvenient. Unfortunately, they're all available now, which means we can get some of the best actors in the world. Uh, we have two coming up in Thursday night's episode, uh, Alex Brightman and, and Ava Noblezada, both Tony nominated young stars on Broadway. One was in Beetlejuice, the other's in Haiti Sound. These yeah. are major players that you can't usually get to be full guest stars in an episode and uh we're we're i don't think it's us doing the community a favor i think we're lucky to have these guys you are lucky in, indeed but there's also a big part of this and people may not recognize this at home is when you don't have that stage time you could lose your health insurance right well that was i started to get these letters from people you know can you get me a day can you uh it's two kinds of health insurance there's the broadway health insurance and, and the sag after health the union insurance. yeah but, a lot of two different unions, but a lot of actors are, are are running out of benefits, you know, and this is something you hope the federal government will step in and help out with. But until they do, if if uh, if two days of playing a judge on our show or, or a, a perk gets you and your spouse and your family health insurance for a year, let's do it. I mean, that's I, I'm all for it. Right. And, and they're tweeting the Broadway community tweeting their appreciation for doing this as well. Yeah. How many can they're you feed me a lot of resumes? But, you know, <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure. Right. Those resume I reels. How many can you feasibly employ? And are you looking to do this beyond just this season? Yeah, we, we've again, we've always worked with them, but we we're we just finished our eighth episode. We start our ninth tomorrow. Every episode's had, I'd say, eight to ten, some more, some some a few less, not just Broadway actors also, off-Broadway, off-off. We've had people from La Mama, from Playwrights Horizon, from the public. Uh, we've had, uh, you know, Jelani Aladdin from Frozen, mm. Elizabeth Marvel, Raul Esparza, we always try to get in when we can. Uh, uh, we, 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 we've, we've had a great cast in all the episodes this year because of this acting pool. So this is, let me just, if, if there is an unemployed actor out there watching right now, I mean, you said you're getting the resumes, you're getting the reels. How do they audition? What do you want them to do? Well, I mean, the, you know, actors are, are savvy and yes. they know, they read, they know when the, uh, when an episode publishes, we call it publishing, uh, the, the, uh, a breakdown comes out with all the parts. If they think they're right for something. They know, actors know what to do. They know how to reach out to our casting office. Right. And, uh, and, and also, I, I mean, you know, people have been, tweeting me and I, uh, I'm, that's, actors, uh, everyone has to take care of themselves as best they can now. I don't mind anybody reaching out if, if, uh, if I mean, I, I, we can't, it, it should be a larger effort uh, and there should be, it, it really should be on all of us to be looking out for this industry now. Absolutely. That's, that's maybe the point of this it is uh, we're one show, other shows in New York, uh, we're, we're a local show when the writers are here and the actors yeah. are here. Some of the other shows are written out West and they may not have that tie to the community, but it'd be nice for all the shows to step up and it'd be nice for the city and state. I know we're going through their time, but yeah. I'm hoping with the change in administration, the government will look out more for people in the arts. The, you know, this theater has been closed since it's almost 10 months now. It'll be as, as your earlier guest, Dr. Fauci hinted, it'll, it, it may be till, till, uh, till fall till we, all, we can all feel safe in theaters. Wasn't that music to everybody's ears? Dr. Fauci saying that we could, could see Broadway reopening and, and life kind of returning to normal in the fall. And that is just music to everybody's ears, including yours, right? From Fauci's mouth. From Fauci's mouth. We got the whole team here, anybody? Uh, I, I, Warren, this is the team. Marisol, Betty, Ben. Yeah, is just, that a corduroy shirt? Huh? <laughs> is that a corduroy shirt? <laughs> Do you like it? Doesn't it look like corduroy? I could hook you up. I'm just very proud of Dan. Very Why? proud of Dan because we went this entire yeah. interview. Without yeah. asking without to be on the show. Without saying a single thing. 
about being on. You know what? For once, so. it's not about me. This is about and, those. And, <laughs> and a money player too. But right now, we're trying to get guys who don't have the day job. And That's I'm right. with you. And That's I support right. that a hundred thousand percent, Warren. You know what? You're big on social media, and I, I was congratulating you on social media for doing this. I think what you're doing is incredible, and more people should should follow what you're doing. Well, the, the, the nice surprise to me was how it got picked up. It was just one tweet in response to somebody saying, wow, a lot of Broadway this year. And people know we have to reach out. Now. Yeah. And, you know, it, so. social media mm -hmm. is a powerful tool if you use it in the right way. Warren Light, mm -hmm. yep. appreciate you being here this morning. As always, you're welcome back. Nice to see you. Always happy to follow Dr. Yes, Fauci. Yes, good to see you, of course. <laughs> Dr. Fauci, Warren Light. There you go. Synonymous. Yeah, there you yeah. go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. But it's All so right. true. Thanks, it takes people at the table, people in power like Warren, to make the changes that take effect and yeah. affect people's lives. So Absolutely. I think the health them. insurance component is such a – people might forget that. If mm -hmm. you're not working mm -hmm. and you're not on stage, you know, and you're an actor, you could lose that yeah. health insurance. And it's not cheap nope. to get like a COBRA plan or something mm -hmm. like that. It's not nope. cheap at all. Especially during a pandemic. Mm -hmm. Hello. Right. All right, 921.